soaking it out. She has the room here. How long has he lived in the house? Uh, over a year and a half. Would you, would you mind telling me that on camera? Just what, what you that? know? What happened? Well, I he walks down the street bumming a cigarette and uh, and I see the smoke going out here and uh, I'm running down towards the alley here and uh, I've seen all the fire trucks and all that and uh, I realized that it was a big fire. So, so, you, so you live in this house? Yes, I do. I live on the bottom floor here. And there was a gentleman that was taken away in cuffs. What, what was that about? He claims to, uh, he has some mental issues. He claims to uh, lift the fire himself, lift the curtains on fire with the lighter. But uh, like I said, he has mental issues. And, uh, well, we don't really know if he did it or not, but we'll leave that up to the fire crew here to, to decide uh, what, the, what, what the findings were. So this is a clean and sober house. You've lived here for how long? Anything weird like this ever happened before? Uh, the two residents that lived here the longest is the guy that's in the cops. And uh, the older man right there talking to the police right there is the manager of the house. And uh, it's really unfortunate. And what's your, what's your name? My name's Sam. Can you spell that for me? S-A-M. And your last name? Uh, I-B-R-A-H-I-M. Thank you very much. appreciate it. Yeah, I heard you say you had to lift the house on fire. Really sad. Yeah, I heard, I heard that part, but as far as the living room saying that, you know, he lit the house on fire. He held out his big lighter. I did it. G-I-L-B-E-R-T. And uh, Mr. Gilbert, you're the house manager here? Yes. Can you, can you tell me a little bit about what happened this evening? Uh, all of a sudden, uh, one of the men in the house hollered, get out, get out, the house is on fire, the house is on fire. So he jumped, stumbled and knocked the glasses off and, and trying to get out and get downstairs and all I see is a big wall of blaze in the front. And hollered, Where's the rest of the guys at? So I ran back to the back door, uh, hollered at the people in the back. At the same time, I unlocked the door. At the door, I unlocked the door. The police officer was back there at the door and knocked me down under the bed. And he told us to get out. And I went ahead and get out the back door and come around. I got out in the front yard, and one of the men says, I held up a dick lighter like this. He says, I, I put the house on fire. And uh, but the officer saying that he told them that he, the demons told him to do it. Really? And uh, this is a clean and sober house, isn't it? Yes, it is. H how long have you been managing the house? Uh, 19 months. Anything like this ever happened in the past? Any yeah. trouble with this guy before? Actually, yes. It's OK. Go ahead. There's many problems with him before. So you have had lots of problems with him? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, but he's never been totally violent yet. Uh, Nothing like this? Just no. little things until now? Well, yeah, brick throwing, things like that. But no violence towards people or anything that would endanger anybody? No. Okay. No. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate your time.